Before starting weighted calisthenics, please meet these prerequisites. Five body weight chin-ups without kipping. 15 push-ups using full range of motion. 10 rows with the body horizontal. 10 dips on parallel bars. Here's how to correctly train weighted calisthenics. Weighted body weight rows are a true asset. This exercise is going to add slabs of meat onto your back. Anchor the belt over your stomach and bridge the hips up. Keep braced in the core and glutes, rowing with plank-like tension. A close grip emphasizes the lat muscles. A wide grip biases the rhomboids and rear delts. It's recommended to use full range by pulling the chest to bar. This tactile feedback keeps you accountable and guarantees consistent rep quality. As for scapular mechanics, apply the stretch and squeeze method. Relax your upper back on the way down, stretching and yielding at the bottom. As you row, squeeze the shoulders into retraction on the way up. Bodyweight rows are tough because they're a descending strength curve exercise. This means the top half is most difficult. True effort is required to complete each rep. Here's another way of loading bodyweight rows. Balancing the weight becomes the main difference at play. Horizontal pulling is one of the best ways to grow a bigger back. Bodyweight rows are a compound exercise with plenty of progression potential. The pump from rows is going to have you feeling like a gorilla and visually motivated. The weighted push-up is brilliant for hybrid training. Closed chain horizontal pressing can now be progressed for life. Perform your weighted push-ups with elevation. This setup allows deep push-ups and room for the weights to hang. Always exceed 90 degree depth with the rear delts below elbows. You can't go wrong with parallel bars for weighted push-ups. The body feels comfortable and strong, pushing from a solid platform. Load your push-ups by anchoring the belt over the mid-back. The resistance is now acting directly against our upper body muscles. Dip belt push-ups are superior thanks to unrestricted scapular movement and partner-free training. Body tension is the most important detail to apply. Keep the glutes and abs engaged to remain rigid at the trunk. Clean form involves the body moving as an integrated unit. We must use a purposeful technique to keep the weights from swinging. Here's a few equipment substitute options for weighted push-ups. Don't be afraid to experiment and find an option that suits your body. For chest growth, push-ups are one of the best stimulus to fatigue exercises. You get to enjoy plenty of muscle growth with minimal exhaustion. The classic push-up will remain a bodybuilding staple for everyone involved with hybrid calisthenics. Learn how to mix calisthenics and weights with fitness FAQs. Get the best of both worlds by shopping fitness FAQs workouts. Vertical pulling will grow a huge back and biceps. We have a few variations to keep you building muscle long term. For all pull-ups, keep an engaged scapula when hanging. Depressed shoulders are useful for continuous rep sets. Full range involves the chin clearing the hands vertically and horizontally. Use an arch to hollow pulling technique. The spine will naturally hunch as you pull towards the top. Always squeeze the weight between legs. We don't want any swaying. To spare the elbows and shoulders, control the negative. Think fast up and control down and training longevity is all yours. The pull-up uses a pronated overhand setup. Use a slightly wider than shoulder width grip. This technique heavily uses the lats and feels strongest for most people. Wrapping the thumbs around the bar is recommended for weighted. Prowess relies on explosive power from the bottom to complete the rep. Don't shy away from using the stretch reflex for successive reps. Pull with all your might as soon as the elbows extend. This elastic recoil is helpful for pull-ups. As fatigue sets in, don't be surprised if it becomes difficult to complete the top range. The final phase of pull-ups is notoriously hard. That's why we're choosing chin level with heavier loads. The chin-up uses a supinated underhand grip. Most people prefer a shoulder width hand placement. Chin-ups are the best when it comes to growing bigger arms. The biceps are fully contributing as an elbow flexor during forearm supination. 
Peak torque production or rotational force is higher when the palms are facing our body. A benefit for chin-ups is that they have a high grindability. As rep speed slows, we can still complete the full range without compensation. It's still possible to get a strong pause at lockout, solidifying bicep strength and size. Neutral grip pull-ups involve the palms facing each other. For those who find pulling on a straight bar uncomfortable, consider rings. A neutral grip doesn't require as much shoulder and forearm mobility. Inner elbow pain or golfer's elbow is less likely with these. Neutral targets the outer bicep and the forearm area. The ideal grip for growing bigger brachialis and brachioradialis muscles. Neutral pull-ups are a hybrid between the pronated pull-up and the supinated chin-up. Expect to gain vertical pulling strength with decent carryover to traditional grips. The disadvantage with rings is that we aren't able to pull as heavy. While it's more comfortable on the shoulders and elbows, the amount of force that we can generate through an unstable surface is reduced. Don't worry if your numbers are lower on rings. The muscle stimulus is still going to be present. Dips are basically squats for your upper body. This classic compound offers a lifetime of muscle building potential. Parallel bar is the equipment of choice for weighted dips. Training on a stable surface allows us to push heavy weights without compromise. Belt position is an important consideration. A long chain allows to hang the weight closer towards the ground. This setup lowers our center of mass, improves stability and maximizes strength. Weighted dips with around 90 degrees range of motion works best. Aim for the rear delts to be lower than the elbows. The hips also need to be under hands at the bottom. When done correctly, the weight moves vertically with minimal sway. Always lock out with straight arms at the top. The body should be working as an integrated unit. This is reflected by the shoulders and hips moving in unison. Looking down keeps your body using an efficient dipping technique. Brace before each dip by shrugging down and hollowing. A protracted and depressed scapula works wonders for overloading. Control is the most important aspect of dips. A smooth negative tempo is ideal for keeping our posture on point. We must keep the plate squeezed at all times to assist with balance, coordination, and also timing. Remain diligent with rep to rep speed and global technique will take care of itself. Adopt a performance mindset when it comes to dips. The goal is for numbers to increase over the coming weeks, months, and years. With progression, dips are guaranteed to pack on serious mass in your upper body. Enjoy progressing weighted calisthenics for a lifetime of strength and muscle gain.